What's up guys, this is Byron once again, and you may be wondering, why am I making this video? Is it going to be entertaining? No. Is it going to be filled with comedy? No. It's just going to be some sort of like educational vid, but not really educational, but like mainly like a video blog where I can, t you know, where I talk about one of my real life experiences that I've had and that I wanted to share. And basically it's something I wanted to get off my chest for a long time, and the sheer feels like the appropriate time to do so. Okay, so this may be a sensitive topic to talk about, so if you don't really want to watch the video, then I don't recommend watching it, but uh, it's something that I just want to, you know, not only get my chest, but to explain it to, to everyone, like I said before, regarding one of my stories you know, from the time that happened. So, like, here's the thing. You know how we've been having school shootings that had occurred a lot here in the U.S., like the Parkland shooting... The Uvalde shooting at like, you know, certain schools, even the clubbing high school that happened before I was born. Well, there actually was an incident similar to those. And to be honest, there was no shooter at our school. There was actually one across from our school, but not in our school, thankfully. It was still pretty terrible, but let me tell you about it. So this minor incident happened back when I was in middle school. And let me tell you, my middle school years were not the best. And I bet that your guys' middle school years were not the best at all either. But uh, let me tell you this. Here's a full story about how we went on a real lockdown. It was Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. And I was in school that day. And by the time the incident occurred, we were taking a language arts class, which is basically an English class. And I was on the computer, minding my own business and such. We were about an hour away from another class that we would attend, which would, would have been our last class that we had, you know, because like, here's the thing. Back in eighth grade, we would have art class every Tuesday. That would be one of our specials that we would have on one of those days every week. And all of a sudden, one of the staff members spoke through the intercom, you know, through those speakers that, that you see in like every classroom. They spoke through the intercom announcing that we had to go on lockdown. So that's what we did. We went to our designated areas to hide and to be away from the windows and doors. But uh, there was a little bit of mishap that was happening in our classroom. I mean, no, nothing tragic, but something that was a little odd that we were doing. Let me explain everything else. So basically in the classroom, there were like 18 students and two teachers. And when we were, you know, hiding and being quiet at the same time, you know, as we tried to, but uh, most of the students were not being quiet as they should have. For some reason, we were switching places. I, I don't even know why. And for some reason, I went ahead and asked to stand up because, I mean, I I don't, I don't, because I didn't know what was going on because for some reason, I thought it was just a drill. But here's the thing, the lockdown lasted for like, I guess probably, like probably an hour and a half. Like, like, yeah, like literally an hour and a half. Unusual for drills like these, but for instance, those can actually take a long time because, I mean, you know, regarding incidents, they take longer for a certain reason, especially with an active shooter. Here's the thing, though. When I went ahead and stood up, like, I, I don't even know why, but that was, like, one idiotic thing that I went ahead and did. Because here's the thing. I, I didn't know what was going on, and we were waiting so long, and I was getting bored for some reason. I don't know why I was standing, but, like, I don't know. I mean, that could have put me at, like, risk of, like, you know, being the target of, uh, you know, getting exposed to encounter with the gunman. I, I don't know what to say, man. Again, there was no gunman in the school, but, like, it was still really stupid, you know, since I since we were on lockdown at the time. And at the end of the lockdown, I, I went ahead and stood at the door, even though, the, like, there was no one there at all, but... Yeah, yeah, man, again, I was a freaking idiot back then. Yeah, I, I was, I mean, because what I did there was kind of dangerous. Well, actually, not, I mean, not just dangerous, but really sketchy. Like, dude, I used to make a lot of sketchy decisions when I was younger. I don't, I, I don't even know why. I mean, it's mainly because of my autism, but still. That was one of the, so, the, the biggest social mistakes I had ever made in my life. Especially since it was so sketchy. And for a while, I did something right. By going ahead and just sitting with, you know, sitting down, hiding, and being quiet as possible with other students that were trying to, that you know, that were basically hiding and being quiet as well. But at the same time, though, with me going ahead and standing up for no reason, even though I had permission to do so, like, I don't even know what I was thinking. 
back then. I was getting a little anxious and a little traumatized. Not as traumatized as people would in such tragic events. Same thing with standing at the door. I don't really know what to tell you, man, but I just honestly wish that I could have done something differently and more safe. What I did there wasn't really right. If there was a gunman at the door, he would have freaking shot me. And I would have been like either injured or dead. And if I were dead, I wouldn't be making videos. And I wouldn't be making this today. But thankfully, there was none of that. So I'm really sorry if I have to share this to you guys. But this is why I'm telling you this story. Well, here's the reason we went on lockdown. So not too far from our school or the other school across from us, there was a gunman that went ahead and shot an ATM repairman that was basically fixing a PNC bank property. And while the repairman was fixing the ATM, some black dude went ahead and shot and killed the freaking repairman. And let me tell you, it was both tragic and weird. The incident was so homicidal and eventually spread to the school's concerns about the guy who went ahead and killed that ATM technician to come to our school next and such. So basically, the school that I attended and the other school across from us, yeah, we both went on lockdown. And it's because, oh, oh, we had to do it just in case. Well, I mean, schools do that. That's how it works, unfortunately. You know, you know, with us being concerned about how bad things would get here and there, because it's always good to expect the unexpected, believe it or not. That was basically the unexpected to look out for. So I don't know what to say. It was quite weird. So about an hour or an hour and a half later, we were told that uh, the lockdown was over. And it was quite a relief for us. And I basically went up to one of the staff members at my school. And I asked them why we went on lockdown and what was going on. And she told me about what happened. And she explained what was going on not too far from her school. And that there was a shooting that was a robbery gone wrong. I even told my family about it. And they were actually kind of shocked about it. And when I told my mom about what was going on here and there. And what I was doing during the real lockdown. I was like, what the fuck? Byron, why would you think those sketchy things like you could have gotten yourself killed if you, if you were at the door and everything? And with you standing up during the lockdown, like... And I tried to tell her, like, I was only standing at the door when it was over. But she was like, no, it's not over. It's like, lockdowns are things that keep you safe from, from you know, getting shot and killed by a gunman. Or, like, some sort of intruder. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I totally regret having a lack of awareness by then. I... I don't know what to tell you. But in the end, I was still a little bit traumatized from what happened. I mean, not like fully traumatized, but maybe a little bit traumatized from the incident. Not really the incident that occurred, but the lockdown that we had. Because I never expected a real lockdown. Like, it was quite sketchy. So basically, I had to stay home for a day, which actually got me relieved. And regarding this entire incident that happened not too far from the middle school that I attended, if you guys think I'm insane, then guess what? I'm not. Because that story is actually on the news. I mean, it didn't feature me, but it involved the incident that happened across from us. Like, it was quite it was quite a weird time. And this homicide was so terrible that it not only it ended up on the news, but I have to share this a little bit to you guys. Like, here's some photos about those articles of that type of news. At the end of the day, I haven't experienced a real lockdown since, but I've had lockdown drills throughout my elementary and middle school days. And let's just say that, uh, as of today, I got over it. Sorry I had to move the camera, but uh, the last lockdown drill that I ever had was two months after that incident that happened near my school. And I haven't experienced anything related to lockdowns since. So yeah, that's what happened. And in case if you end up going on lockdown in your life, Whatever you do, do not stand up for any reason unless you're instructed to do so by any type of authority or police. And when I say standing up, I mean physically standing up. And also do not, and I mean do not ever stand at the door, especially if any type of intruder or gunman are there or not. Because let me tell you, if any type of intruder or gunman are at the door, they will take your life. And that increases the exposure of being targeted to death. And here's the thing, you do not want to end your life like that. Because making those sketchy mistakes are the things that I regret in my life. So that was the very first time I had ever experienced a real lockdown. I hope you guys understand what I was going through. But uh, hey, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, I'll be making more videos that are, that'll be more entertaining than this. Well, this one's not entertaining. And yeah, that's basically all. All right, so this is me, Byron, the Multiple Interests Man, signing off. Thank you so much for listening to this real life story that I have to share. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>